It must be taken for granted that when civil disobedience is started, my arrest is a certainty. It is therefore necessary to consider what should be done when the event takes place. Gandhi, Young India, February 27, 1930. This is the classic attitude of the civil resistor that he or she not only doesn't try to avoid arrest, but actually seeks arrest to show up to make visible the injustice of the system. You can't do that really on any deep psychological, really convincing way without taking some of its abuse onto yourself. When he said that my arrest is inevitable, he meant that the success of our movement is inevitable. Things will be going as planned. And of course, this was also an extremely strategic move for him to make that statement on two levels. One, it would help to prevent people flying into a rage and doing something violent when he was arrested, as they otherwise would definitely have been in inclined to do. And secondly, it enabled them to plan in advance, which is so often missing in uh, modern movements that adopt some version of civil disobedience. So he had planned the devolution of leadership down to the actual individual. So when Gandhi was arrested, his quote, lieutenants took over when they were arrested uh, people who had been trained in the ashram took over. When they were arrested, everybody was his own leader. So once again, we see that a nonviolent campaign is actually a preparation for and a rehearsal of the nonviolent regime that we are hoping to install. <music> 